Get Throbbing, you guys. That's right, Get Throbbing. This is Kirill Yolkin with the Get Throbbing Show. It is evening time, February. Oh my gosh, I'm lost in dates. It's, I think it's February 2nd or 3rd. So it's 2011, which means we haven't spoken for months now. What have you been up to, you guys? What have I been up to? I've been working and having lots of fun and just enjoying the life. I mean, 2011 is off to an racing start. Uh, there's so much to do. Oh, my gosh, like one month down, 11 more to go and to enjoy and to produce and to just get throbbing, right? <laughs> That's going to be an expression to just replace any kind of an awesome adjective, just get throbbing, right? But anyways, I've, uh, I've actually just got back from Vegas a couple weeks ago, went to see my dad and my little sister. Uh, they live in Russia. I live here in the United States, so haven't seen them actually. just so happened that uh, like six years, oh, my gosh, six years, long time, but finally met up, had an incredible time. If, if you follow me on Facebook, you should have seen the album and the updates from, from the trip. So anyways, a couple new things. First, thanks for watching. You know, this has been an awesome experience for me to get all your comments and your, uh, you know, opinions and ideas and suggestions. Just bring more of them. And, uh, you know, I started a new thing. It's called Throbin Art. I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do the drawings, uh, different just, you know, drawings like scribbles uh, daily. And I'm going to post some at random intervals up on the Facebook and the blog. So just look at them. They're going to be basically based on my that particular day, done in one day, and uh, circling topics of like achievement and capitalism and money and, uh, yeah, that sort of thing, like journey of success and enjoyment and uh, fulfillment, that, that, that sort of thing. All right? Now, big question. Here's the topic of the video today. Can money buy you happiness? <gasps> I said that. How could I bring it up? Man, it's blasphemous. Money does not buy you happiness, right? You've heard it. I mean, you, it's like almost in every corner. Money does not buy you happiness. You know, your car is not going to warm you up at night when you sleep alone. That sort of junk, right? Well, does it or does it not? I mean, ask yourself. Pause the video right now and say, does money buy me happiness, right? Just think about it. Just pause it and then come back to the video and do a comment, you know? What do you think? So here's the deal. I, I've been doing some reading and thinking and writing. And there's actually a couple things I'm reading right now. There's one. It's called uh, The Leap. It's by this guy, Rick Smith. Phenomenal book. All right? You've got to check it out. Then another one is one of my all-time favorites, The Magic of Believing. So powerful. <clears throat> wow. And this is actually my desk here. It's pretty messy. It's like 1030 at night, I think. So I've just... You know, I don't have any books while I'm working, but, you know, right now I got some books. I'm doing some studying, and here's the book, okay? This is the one I'm going to talk to you about that answers that question, does money buy you happiness, right? So the, it's called The Richest Man in Town. It's by Randall Jones, okay? So you got to check this book out. He, what Randall Jones does, he uh, takes the 100 biggest cities of the United States, and, you know, he says every city's got the richest person, the richest man or the woman, right, of that town. And so he takes those people from those hundred cities, he profiles them, and looks at, you know, what are the characteristics they share, what are their uh, principles or their commandments that they all follow, right? There's 12 of them. And he brings up this question here right in the beginning of the book, right in your face, just slaps you with it. He says, does money buy you happiness? And so interviewing all these people, you know, he says that, in fact, it does. Oh, my gosh, I said that. It came out of my mouth. Money does buy you happiness. Crazy, huh? So now you're all intrigued. You've got to pick up the book. But here's the thing. Here's how he explains it. And he actually doesn't use the word buy in this particular quote. But, you know, it's close to it. So it, basically, here's what, what he says. The book, The Richest Man in Town, proves that money does indeed, and here's the word he uses, translates, to happiness, but only, here's the but, here's the condition, but only when it is self-earned, when it is a direct result of effort by you, my friends, huh? not money simply bestowed upon you, okay, get that, all right, and he continues, he says, it brings happiness when the wealth is the result of real value that you have added to the world in some important way, okay, so, and he says, that asking every R R M I T, which is richest man in town, okay, every single one of them had a resounding answer, you know, it says uh, that they basically, you know, are truly happy, all of them, all of them, 
get that, all right? All of them. See? So if that's is wh where you want to go with being rich, you know, you got to understand that, you know, this actually happens when, you know, you got to just remember what is the cause and the effect. Then he goes to quote the study. It's done by uh, two economists from UPenn, University of Pennsylvania. Um, and uh, you'll pick up the books, you'll pick up the names. I'm not going to tell them here for you. But the deal is, is that they surveyed the households of, uh, that earn a quarter of a million bucks a year or more. And 90% of them, which is 9 out of 10, okay? If you don't know the math, 90%, all right? They rate themselves as very happy. See? Get that? Very happy, 90%. And then there's another study that's done by, uh, and, and again, this is the people that are producers. They did it themselves. They, they, you know, they actually earn their money through value, providing value. Okay. And then there's another study by University of Indianapolis of people that just lucked out and won the lottery and made a ton of money that way, just lucked out. You know, and none of them are really happy. <laughs> you know, the people that just got the money without the cause, which is the work. All right, the full letter word, you know, there's a lot of them in the English letter, and there's work, okay, that full letter word, production of work, all right, the effort, you know, they didn't have any of that, so they won the lottery, and they're not that happy, so it goes to show, you know, you you, you got to have the cause and the effect, so anyways, there's kind of something for you to think about, so comment down below here on the YouTube video, or on the Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash get throbbing. What do you think? And what's your opinion? Why? Why do you think money does buy you happiness or it doesn't? Anyways, leave your interesting uh, and creative responses down below, just like Ray William Jones, John, uh, yeah, Ray William Johnson says. <laughs> and uh, until the next show, I hope you make it a great one. See you later.